Well, good morning everyone. If I sound a little disgruntled, it's because I didn't have my coffee yet. But first, let's solve leak code 359 logger rate limiter. Design a logger system that receives a stream of messages along with their timestamps. Each unique message should be printed at most every 10 seconds, i.e. a message printed at timestamp t will prevent other identical messages from printing from being printed until timestamp t plus 10. All messages will come in chronological order. Several messages may arrive at the same timestamp. Implement the logger class. Logger initializes the logger object. Bool should print message and it gives you a timestamp and a message returns true if the message should be printed at the given timestamp. Otherwise it returns false. So okay, we just want to know if the message appeared over 10 seconds ago. So they give us an example. You initiate your logger. The first message that comes in comes in at second one and it's foo. So that means the next one has to be printed at least at second 11. And then you get bar over here, which comes in at second two. That also returns true. And we know that the next bar should be printed at second 12. Now we get another foo at second three but we know 3 is smaller than 11 and therefore it should not be printed so you return false. 8 at bar is smaller than 12 and therefore it also returns false. 10 at foo. Uh, at, at second 10 you get foo again that's smaller than 11. Suddenly at uh, second 11, 11 is bigger or equal to 11 and that's actually a clue by the way. That's kind of a giveaway. So. The main thing that uh, that's of interest in this particular problem is what are we going to store these? Well, I suggest an unordered map of strings. So you store your string, say foo or bar, and the next associated smallest time, and that's it. And then you could run from that. So let's uh, let's have our little data structure here because they actually tell you initialize your structure here. So let's make that a um, an unordered map of string int which we'll call my times and then all we need to know here is um, well first we want to know if the message is already in our map so for that we use if my times dot find message equals um, my times dot end okay that means it has not been found and therefore we could just store the particular time since this is the first time we see it so my times message equals equals what equals timestamp plus 10 because we're adding 10 seconds that's going to be the next available time for this timestamp and we tr return true because this first one you're able to predict and because this is leak code, we need to return something. So let's just return true, even though I don't think we'll ever run into this. Now we want to know an, another condition. So if it has been found, what then? Else, um, if, um, let's see now, if it has been found, then if timestamp is bigger or equal to, um, my my times message which is the which is the next time associated then we also we now set a new time to this printed timestamp so we're we are able to print this message but we also have to set the message to the next available time, which is the current timestamp that just came in, plus 10. Um, else, return false. Now the reason we could just return false without doing anything, we don't need to enter anything, is because the next smallest timestamp will remain the same. We just couldn't enter this new one, we couldn't overwrite the timestamp. So it just stays the same, and uh, let's see if that works. So we run the code looks good. Hit submit. Thanks a lot everyone. Thanks for watching.